Yeah, yeah. Well, if we can get him against the fence, um, we have a better shot. Eric is going to demonstrate that sense with a strange experiment. But first, we need our baby lemon shark to stay nice and still. OK, got it, got it. Look at that. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to roll it over and place it into tonic immobility. Tonic immobility. Go on, explain that one. No one's really sure why it happens, but when the sharks are inverted like this, they kind of go to sleep. Wow, it's just relaxed. It's like yoga for sharks. Indeed. And there's nothing to suggest that it's stressed. It, it's... I'm barely holding it. Yeah. I'm going to hand them to you, OK? OK. You just put your thumbs behind the pecs and just hold it. OK, ready? These things, obviously, I mean, this is slightly the obvious, but they can bite. What, what would be the damage? A laceration at this age. You might need stitches, actually, from this little shark. Um, so if anything goes wrong, just let it go. Let's do our experiment. Eric's experimental kit is really simple. Steel spoon and our magnet. Thanks, CJ. I've been left holding the shark. I'm not sure whether that's an enviable position to be in or not. We have a strong magnet here we're going to use for the experiment. And it's a pretty powerful magnet. It'll attract the spoon out of my hand. Eric wants to show me how our shark reacts to the magnet. So what we're going to do is put a blinder by the shark's eye so he can't see what I'm doing. So the shark won't be able to see the magnet coming. OK, I'm going to put a blinder here. Yeah. But will he sense it? And I'm approaching here. Oh. That was a reaction. <laughs> wow, you jumped out of your hands. 